A la patada, patana. Come see me live. I will be in Schaumburg, Illinois, February 13th through the 16th at the Chicago Improv. <laughs> San Jose, California, February 28th, March 1st at the San Jose Improv. Denver Co. 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 Colorado, March 12th to the 14th at the Comedy Works. Houston, Texas, March 27th, 29th, Houston Improv. Come to the BobbyLee.com, BobbyLeeLive.com, and grab them before they're gone. Enjoy the show. Okay, go ahead. Five, four, three, two. Hey, Chongo. Hey, Chongo. What you doing around town with your flat face and your pot marks? <laughs> this fucking guy had zits all over his face growing up, this Chongo. He used to pick them, now he has pot marks on his face. Mm. Anyway, welcome to another <laughs> <laughs> episode of Tiger Belly and... um. Let me introduce just you know the the crew. You all you know you know mm-hmm. Island Asian. Hello, mm-hmm. hello. We got my beautiful girlfriend Kalila, also princess. Island Asian. She's from I- islands. White. We got Chongo over here, you know. And um, you guys, um, I'm gonna introduce you in a second, but let me just build up to it. <laughs> <laughs> let me just build up to it, man. You know, um, I have a couple of things to say about this guest. Um, you know, growing up, I um, was a gigantic fan of this next guest. So, you know, we've had great people on this podcast. We've had Academy Award winners. We've had um, sexy comedians, whatnot. But I, um, I've i been looking forward to this one because um, I just love him so much. I, uh, When I was a young comic at the Comedy Store, you know, a lot of these famous people, you know, when you first start, in the, especially in the 90s when I started, um, they're very distant and they don't help you much. But this dude, um, you know, he used to be very, very inclusive. Um, he would invite me. He invited me to his son's bar mitzvah. He um, used to do these um, videos that he used to include me in with Ari Shafir back when, and Steve Renazizi back when we were young. And um, he's the first comic to ever sell out Madison Square Garden. Uh, he's the first rock star comic to ever exist. Um, and he is a great actor. He was killed it on Blue Jasmine. He killed it in A Star is Born. And um, let's cl- a round of applause for Andrew Dice Clay, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. No, you know, it was, <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd have to try it again. You, uh, <laughs> missing credits? No, no, no. It's not about credits. Who, Who's... The comic <laughs> that had you open when you didn't even have time. You did. Mm. You forgot the most important <laughs> thing. I know. Because there's so many things. No, but but you don't you don't know this just some new girlfriend of his, I guess. <laughs> um what's your name again? I know they gave you a nickname or something. <laughs> no, I, it's Kalila. Kalila. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. I had him opening for me yeah. like in Vegas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Remember? I do. It was the greatest show. It was me, Jim Norton, and Joey Diaz oh. opening for fucking... You've the- told, you've told the, the Vegas story yeah. many times on this podcast. I, I love that, I, you know, because I would see, like, the potential in these guys, yeah. oh. and I used to like to help, yeah. you know, so I would just drag them along with me, <laughs> and... We we would have a blast, yeah, you yeah know, a real and blast. And Joey and you know, yeah. And and so Norton funny. was with me for three years, Jim Norton, mm-hmm. until I got him. Well, I, I didn't get him with it, it. It just wound up when we did Opie and Anthony, and they clicked in and they started calling him, and that that's what you know. I was able to get rid of him, <laughs> you know, because from day one Norton was just unreal, like. 
Bobby, you know, was just working on his act, but I didn't care, you know, because to look at him was kind of, you know, funny <laughs> at that time in history. history. You know, it's when you guys just got here. With yeah. You know, like after the Pearl Harbor. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right, 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 right. right. And, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was looking to help out people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... He, he had an act, but it wasn't what it is today, obviously. Norton already had a mm -hmm. strong act. He was a killer. Killer. And he was with me for like three years, and then when we got to Opie and Anthony, and they took a liking to him, and they then he he had a, he has a big career now yeah. From, yeah. from all that. So that's always fun for me. Like, even when I do Joey Diaz's show, like, he's one of the guys. Um, you know, Eddie Griffin blew up. You blew up. You know, so I like when I get to talk about people that I saw this potential in and I would just take them with me. I didn't I didn't care how big the places were, you know. I remember <laughs> <laughs> Oh friggin' Dom Barris. <laughs> um, you know, I'm sure I get texted for this, like I'm insulting him in some way. But I'm really not, but I took him and, and I was doing you know, like a small room was 10,000 seats. You know, that was small at that time. Wow. You know, that was like, ah, oh, shit night, you know. 10, <laughs> no, because I, I did the arena thing. Right. I know he brought up the garden, but I did over 12 million people in concert. Wow. I did over 300 arenas, mm -hmm. you know, and everybody, it's, I always say it's frustrating because they bring up the garden like it's a big deal. And it is because it's the most famous arena in the world, but it was the 20th one I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I did, I went, went around the country already doing arenas and I was saving the garden, you know. <laughs> you know, no, that's what it was. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah, and yeah. it wound up the 20th and 21st show. I wound up doing two nights there. And, you know, this is all like he's bringing it up because it's, you know, which is so funny to me today when somebody gets a few followers on, on their, <laughs> look at me, <laughs> on my Instagram, you know, 34,000 people that like me. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going, they're fucking mutants. <laughs> you know, who yeah. are these people? Like yeah. when you get, you know, like when you get like somebody that hates you as a comment? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now that was a time when I, when I took over when, you know, I went through like the last awful breakup, right? Years ago already. So I had to take this shit over, you know? Yeah, I, I yeah. was never involved with this nonsense. Right. <laughs> so, you know, people would all of a sudden just insult me, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not that guy to do that to. Right. You know, so I would go to their page and I would take a look, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, at yeah. what they are. Yeah. You know, with their 22 followers. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I'd be like, are you kidding? Do you really think this is going to sit right with me? <laughs> yeah. Like, um, like, di like Rogan calls it dice mean when yeah. I'm on stage and... Now there's no act. Now I just have hatred for someone in the crowd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like right now, like if, if I was on stage and somebody got me mad and I just don't like that person, yeah. they're, they're not told to take it. They're, they're thrown out. Yeah. I want, that makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, I'm not looking for new fans. Do you, I don't, I don't do you comment back? It. Do you comment back or no? No, wait a minute. I'll tell you what happened. Okay. So I'm saying, so if it's live... I, you know, like I'll tell Club Soda Kenny, you know Club yeah, Soda Yeah, I love Kenny, him. Great guy. You know, and we've been back together for a while, so he enjoys my anger too. <laughs> and I go, Kenny, there's no warning. Yeah. You know, and the older the person is, the more enjoyable it is for me to throw them out <laughs> so I could make fun of them as they're getting thrown out <laughs> yeah. and say, now make sure you, you know, like you tell your family, your children that- you couldn't hold your liquor that you got thrown out of a comedy show. You <laughs> yeah. were tossed out on the street, no money back. You're nothing in this world. <laughs> I hope you fucking die. Take care of yourself. Yeah. And they get thrown out. Yeah. Okay. So when it happened, when I took over the Instagram, because I, I, don't, I don't believe in Twitter, 
Yeah. You know, because there's no, like, real pictures, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the creativeness of Instagram, so I'm not into Twitter. Yeah. You know, I'm not into the uh, uh, the other one, uh, Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Because everybody believes they're smart. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, nobody fucking human beings on Earth, uh, anonymous people <laughs> in the world. Uh-huh. You know, with their political, you know, they're fighting with each other. And I'm going, who cares if you vanished right now? <laughs> <laughs> or like if you like just exploded, like actually blew up, like physically like pop. Yeah. Like nobody would care. I would give a fuck, yeah. You know, and, and it's funny because I was taught about that when I was a kid because, you know, I'm not that uh, book worthy. Yeah. Book smart. What? <laughs> yeah, like schooled out, you that's know? What, yeah. yeah. Like I didn't really I'm believe either, I, in I'm, the... I don't. I do audio books. That's all I do. No, what I'm saying, yeah. So you yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah, like get in it. school, like I knew I had to show up just so there wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and there was nothing to do back then. Yeah. You know, there was no sex. You know, so go to school. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But um. But I'm from Brooklyn, so I, you know, I have common sense. I have street sense. Yeah. And so, with with all of that, when I when I was taught at a very young age, never talk politics. My mother would tell me this stuff. Yeah. Don't talk politics, Talking Sonny about. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. It's she, a no win situation. You Sonny, Bo- Sonny Boy. I don't know, maybe once or twice, whatever you should call it. <laughs> right, okay. That's what you're getting from the whole conversation with <laughs> Boy. No, but I, I, I'm just curious to see what your mom would call you, and if she Sunny Boy was Andrew, 5% of the time, that's fine. She'd call me Sunny Boy. <laughs> she'd call me uh, sometimes, uh, like my father would go, he, he's like a real schmuck sometimes. Yeah. You know, which is when I knew I could do the comedy thing. All right. You know, yeah. you do schmucky things. You yeah. <laughs> schmucky, yeah. Yeah, like I'd always like... There was this fake phone that hung in the in the kitchen. <laughs> Growing and, up. Yeah, yeah, and every day, I don't know why, I'd walk into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't put it there, they did. <laughs> and they're getting mad at me. Right, right, right. right. You, you made the phone crooked again. I, what do you want from me? I just woke up. <laughs> yeah. You know, because I, I, you know, a lot of times I wouldn't go to school. Right. You know, and my mother slept like a comic, like till noon, you know. <laughs> Was she alcoholic? No, she just didn't work. Oh, I see. She lived like a real woman. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't trying to prove anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. She used to love when my father would get out of bed at 6.30 in the morning to get ready and <laughs> go do his job and on Friday bring money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old she was, school woman. She was at the mall. Yes! She was with her sister and her mother at the at the local diner having coffee <laughs> till five in the afternoon. Yeah. She wasn't going, oh, I, I wanna I don't want a man to hold the door for me. Yeah. You know? Yes. You know, oh, he put his hand on my shoulder when he took a picture. Yeah. Because <laughs> men love my mother. My mother looked like Elizabeth Taylor. She had wow. that look. She had a real star look. Yeah, yeah. And so, I, you know, as a little kid, I would see what would go on. Yeah. You yeah. were also a handsome kid. No, we know about my gorgeous looks. I'm not talking about <laughs> that. I know, but you're when a you very come- good look. If you come from a, a beautiful woman and a good-looking guy, you're not giving birth to a, an alien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do I, you think? Where? What do you think is going to come out between the both of us? An alien? Oh, you planning that already? Yeah, we're planning you it. Think yeah. So? We've been six years together. Seven. Yeah, seven years. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, Andrew. I never saw her. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, I'm not at the store all the time. I know, I know. You're yeah. around. She doesn't around. come, but yeah, it's, yeah. But you think that if we had a child, that well, would... I I think if <laughs> if all right, you got to do one leg up. Okay. Oh. To get her pregnant. Yes. One leg up. What do you mean one you, leg up? You give her a command, like you're in the bed. All right, you could start missionary as a as a warm up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know that that that's what I do. <laughs> you did not even like, give me the end of the story. It, it, then I could tell you what to do. Okay. So what do you mean, the end of One our leg. story? No, no, I was telling you a story Finish about the story. what I learned. 
Finish the story. As a kid, because your audience <laughs> yeah, is yeah. going to go, he didn't finish saying what he was saying. Right, right. But we could always go back to it, right? No, but I'm going to forget it. We're going to get into this <laughs> other thing. Okay, let's finish that. Let's finish that. Yeah. Oh, my bad. My bad. Go ahead. No, finish. it's not a bad. It's just you <laughs> went a different way. I know. I a bad it. would be I like if it you up. were backing I fucked up. I it up. No, a bad would be if you were backing up and hit my car. That would be bad. That would be bad. And there'd be consequences. I would pay for Like, I'm not calling a cop. Oh. No. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, 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 right. Because of the asshole drivers yeah. that don't want to use a blinker and make U-turns wherever they feel the urge. Yeah, but you're doing it now but, by but, diverting wait. from the story. All right, all right. By doing so, the car thing. So what I was taught, just to get through that part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This went on file Facebook. So, so I, I was taught, you ever talk religion? You know, whether she called me Sonny Boy or Andrew. <laughs> You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the exact moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I like the details. Uh, okay. She probably was saying something like, "Why didn't you go to school today?" I go, "It's snowing out." Wow. I'm gonna shove a walkways and make myself a few dollars. <laughs> wow. Let everybody else be at the school. These assholes. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting five dollars a driveway. You understand? Yeah, my, I understand you. Yeah. You know. And she smoked one twenties, you know. So you know, we just have coffee, me, her, and my friend Larry Winnicore, who you don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's the only one I've really stayed friends with since my whole life. Is Larry? Right. Is Larry Winter Winnicore? Winnicore. Winnicore. Oh, Winnicore. 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 That's what I mean. You never really learn long. <laughs> Win a core. Win. What, yeah, whatever. But is he still alive? Larry? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're hey, Larry. Close. That's all I wanted to do. All right, so Larry would always be at my apartment <laughs> yeah. because his mother was a nurse, you understand? Uh-huh. So she had to get up early to go to work. Was she Filipino? No, she just was a nurse. Okay, okay. <laughs> There's a lot of Filipino nurses, that's all. Mm -hmm. I know that's popular today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back then, they wouldn't let them in that easy because they didn't even know how to talk. Okay? So, so Larry's mother... Yeah. So Larry's mother would yeah, say, yeah. all right, you ready to go to school? Yeah. All right. So he would leave the house like he's going to do the whole school thing. Yeah. He would just come to my place. First, he'd stop at the German's deli, right? Yeah. Because on one corner we had the Italian deli, and around the corner from me we had the German. Right. Mm. What is the now, difference? The difference is the German deli <laughs> had the chocolate pudding and the little tins and the rare roast beef. Ah. So here comes Larry with the, with the pudding, yes. with the roast beef in the refrigerator, and then he would just lay down in my bed with his feet at my head and we go back to sleep. <laughs> and then at about noon, my mother opens the door and she goes, why, why didn't you guys go to school? Yeah. Oh no, look, with the snow. Yeah. Yeah, and she goes, it's a flurry. I go, yeah, but I don't want to get the flu. You know how you always talk about getting the flu, ma? Yeah. You get hit in the back of the head with the wind, it's all over and I'm home for three weeks. <laughs> so you're better off having me here now. All right, so we'd light up some cigarettes. She put on Whoa, the Mr. How coffee. Old were you would smoke. How old were you when you smoked? Oh, I was like sixteen. You know, and, you, I was old and your mom would. To... You would. She would let you smoke in the house. She'd light my cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know how I used to do with the Zippo lighter. Yeah, yeah. Where do you think I got that from? Hey guys, excuse us while we share this amazing sponsor with you. La 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 la. Babe, la 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 la. la. <laughs> one more, one more. La 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 la. Manscaped.com. <laughs> Breaking news. This is the most important PCA is brought to you by the Manscaped.com. Mm -hmm. Tell them more. This is your public service announcement. After more than 18 months of research and development, the Manscaped engineering team has confirmed that they have successfully created the greatest ball hair trimmer ever created. And I'm going to wow. say this wow. as a testament to my own self and to the world, yeah. right? That it is a product that I have used on my own genitalia. And I have used so many, you know, I've used razors. Uh -huh. I've tried to pluck them out with my fingertips. Ow. 
And man, this manscaping nothing this new, quite compares to the lawnmower, lawnmower 3.0. Manscaping trimmer is now available for purchase. Three, manscaped lawn, lawnmower 3.0. 3.0. La la la. la and la. my point is, is that I use it on my own shit, man. Yeah. You don't Tell use them. it on his. You don't use it on your poo, babe. No, no, no. I'm on my own <laughs> genitals. Is what I'm saying. I know I don't use it on my poo, but go ahead. You guys, get 20% off and free shipping with the code <laughs> SLEPT at manscaped.com. That's 20% off, free shipping at manscaped.com, and use the code SLEPT, S-L-E-P-T. Enjoy the rest of the show. You know, just can I just divert a story that you and I had once where we went to the airport, and you smoked inside the airport. Yeah, always. <laughs> I know, but it was against the law. <laughs> No, but this is what would get me mad with that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. This is what would get me mad. Yeah. Even to this day, they come on the loudspeaker. Yeah. Now, I don't smoke anymore. I just hold them. I know. Okay. And they start in, you know, with the, uh, this is a non-smoking area. Yeah. And I'm going, you stupid fucks. Hasn't it been a non smoke Can somebody just shut the tape? <laughs> There's been no smoking supposedly for 35 years. Yeah. In in this shit LAX where people are getting killed now when they come out from a flight because now there's no cars allowed to pull over. <laughs> Have yeah, you yeah. been to the worst fucking yes. airport in the history of human beings? <laughs> yeah, it was That terrible. people are running across the street to the parking structure and cars are stopping short and people are throwing their fucking bags and <laughs> I don't know how to get home anymore. <laughs> I know. It's the worst fucking setup. I fucking hate them. Not only, but now it's also like you can't get a cab there anymore. You have to no, take you can't another get a cab. You have to take, take a, a shuttle, shuttle to no, some other area. No, which is never going to happen in my world. <laughs> what do you mean? It's just never going to happen. You won't take a shuttle? No. <laughs> Number one, <laughs> yeah, yeah. there are no shuttles. They, they, they caught on fire recently, so no. they had to switch them um, back to buses. Yeah, it's either Avis or Hertz or... I don't want to rent the car. I want yeah. to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I was standing there last time I was there, a U-Haul pulled up in the middle of the gutter there. You know, <laughs> and they open up and people started throwing their bags in. <laughs> it's the worst setup. They yeah. really need to do something because right. somebody gets killed there. They'll own that airport. Yeah. You know, it's just not, th- it's they, not safe. There's, it's not safe chaos. at all. Chaos, chaos. All right, so what my mother was telling me, <laughs> never talk politics yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's a no-win situation. Right. What you think. So on Facebook, you got millions of people talking, fighting with each other, unknown people that nobody gives a fuck about. And even if they were known, nobody gives a no fuck gives about a them either. Yeah. That's why you go to a party, you see people with the veins popping out. No, but you don't know what Trump said, and you don't know what this one said. Yeah. You know, and I'm looking for the blonde with big tits that I could drag into a fucking broom closet <laughs> and bang while her husband's in this heated debate about what he thinks. The chiropractor, the brilliant fucking chiropractor. <laughs> What he thinks about what needs to be done. Who gives a fuck? You don't even know how to crack a back properly. <laughs> You're the worst kind of doctor. You're a doctor that's a non-fucking doctor, in my opinion. Yeah. You're a guy that they said in school, you know what? He's never going to be a heart surgeon. <laughs> how about if we give it? He's like more of a glorified masseuse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he rubs you down a little with some oil. He talks nice into your ear, and then he tries to pop your spine a little yeah, 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 and he makes himself a nice living and this is the guy that wants to talk about the rulers of the world what he thinks should happen right right Dumb fuck yeah well i'm fucking big tits in the closet <laughs> you know because that's the only reason i would go to a party yeah. is to meet chicks yeah i don't care if there's a guy on the block forget you, about you it now. prefer big tits over tiny little ki- i like the kiwi little tiny kiwi fruit <laughs> kiwi fruit tits Whatever you like, you know, what do I give a fuck? No, I'm I'm gonna... asking, no but I'm asking you, it's, no offense, sir. Well, I'm saying to it's grab a chick. What kind of tits do you like? I'm just prefer. saying to grab a chick into the closet, they should have a bigger tit so you can grab a bigger <laughs> tit. Oh, right, 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 right. Efficiency, know, efficiency. Ah, I'll, thank I'll, you, I'll thank always you. take a fat ass of any kind of tits. Ah. You know what I mean? That's just my personal preference. <laughs> 
because I'm there all the time. Right. I get to know somebody. And um, can I just say something? Side note: I know I'm not interrupting you. I'm just trying to get I at know, this but, one thing. I know, but <laughs> I know, but I just have a question. I just have a comment to make. Is your new girlfriend is so beautiful? What? What? what, what? What's it your business? <laughs> no, I, I don't like anybody looking at her. No, I'm not. No, but you posted on Instagram, right? Because I follow you. Okay. Right, and I look at her because you fuck you fucking did it. You posted it. Okay. And I made an observation of going. She's very attractive. That she's look. You know. That's all. Well, what should I go with? Somebody ugly. <laughs> what I'm saying. Let's say I was uh, going with the ugly Anna, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. W- w- would I post her? <laughs> sir, 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 sir. Like, why would I even put her up there? <laughs> ugly Anna. I, uh, ugly Anna. No, you would never date ugly Anna because you're dice. What I'm just saying is, is that when I look at her on Instagram, no. and I and just listen, finish. Let I'm, me finish. Go ahead. All right. Let me finish. <laughs> All right. All I'm saying is, is that when I observe her, I go, "She's very attractive. She seems lovely. That's all." Congratulations. Are you are you in love? Did I say anything about her? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> She's very attractive. And if yeah, you, but it's not. I, I, but I know what you think you're getting away with. <laughs> yeah, Bobby. <laughs> I know what, what you think you're getting. What do you think you're getting away with? <laughs> All right. Finish the story. All right. Let's say, for instance. Okay. All right. So she said, don't talk politics. <laughs> all right. So that's why I don't follow the Facebook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And plus, they want to put every relative with a tube up their ass. Oh, my uncle, he's 104 years old. He just passed away. Yeah, who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah. I got my own problem. Yeah. Like, right. It's about your sick family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We think I got nobody sick hanging around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is what they do on Facebook. So that's why I told you. Forget Twitter because there's Only no Instagram. pictures. Only Instagram. Facebook is idiots that have failed in life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right, they right. They have right. just failed. They failed in life. And they're angry about failing. Yes. So they're never going to write anything nice to you. You know, uh, and it's all about, you know, the politics and <laughs> religion, religion, never religion. talk religion. Never talk religion, no. Got to be an asshole to talk religion. Yeah. And uh, this is what I was taught as a kid. And uh, Yeah. Can, now, can we talk so about- Never talk politics, religion, <laughs> and never and never make fun of Frank Sinatra. Mm, why? See, that was a big thing back then. Why? Who's Frank uh, Sinatra? Uh, you're the dumbest- uh, I, I get it. You're from Hawaii. <laughs> no. I know Frank's the Rat yeah. Pack. I know Frank. Yeah, and I got to to meet and hang with Frank. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah. Of oh, course. wow. Did you meet the? I'm same? dice. I know. I know. That's why I'm nervous that you're on this podcast. No, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're friends. Uh, we are friends. I love you so. You yeah. know it, what's great about you too is is that if you whenever you see me, I remember one time I saw you on Larchmont over there. And yeah, we, you were, right. yeah, and you and I had like a thirty-minute conversation. You just pulled me aside. I just, you, you're just so inclusive, and it was, you're a super nice guy. I wanted to ask you though about because Kalila and I love the movie A Star Is Born. Uh huh. What was right. that? I mean, that, you were amazing in that. Was she, how amazing you were so real it, it was and so caring as that father. What was it like working with Lady Gaga? Was she nice? I was a dad in the movie. I know, but was she nice? <laughs> was she nice? Was it nice like working when, with when, her? Tell me about as it. As my daughter or as Gaga? As Gaga. <laughs> Stephanie is her name. Uh, my bad. I don't know her. <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying. So I got used to calling her by her real name. Ah, uh, Stephanie. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's a, as for being one of the biggest stars in the world, she's as grounded as you could get wow. as a human being. Do you get Serious. do you get nervous when you do like a movie like that? Like, cause you, I remember in Blue Jasmine's Woody Allen. Do you get nervous? Cause I, you know, I've done a few, not great movies, but I've been in some movies and I get kind of nervous. Do you get nervous? No, <laughs> at all. It's actually a boring process to me. Um, like I can't wait to get out of there. Like there was one day I went over to Bradley because yeah. we were shooting this whole kitchen scene and. Mm-hmm. You know, and I was like, can we get out of here already? <laughs> you know, and he's like, Dice, we're shooting, you know, it's an expensive movie we're doing. And I'm going, no, but we got it. Like, we're, we're, you know, 
like how much you want to film like i like it was his first directing thing yeah you know? yeah so i guess he was he was as cool as a cucumber sure, doing it but sure. he wanted to do it i'm going but what are you gonna film now the toaster <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah, like yeah, enough yeah, of this. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. We'll do more tomorrow. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, I get bored waiting around. Right. And then when you do it and you think it's like done, they go, all right, you know what? I want to do this kind of setup. And I, for what? <laughs> yeah, you got Nobody it. Nobody in the theater is going to go, oh, they didn't get the ceiling from, you know, up there. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, Who yeah, cares? Yeah, You're yeah. probably not even going to use it anyway. Right, I'm right. Starving. Yeah, because I don't eat that shit food they serve on sets. Oh, you? Because I have to eat it. What do you do? You know, uh, I would send somebody to uh. McDonald's or something. <laughs> well, you, th- you think that McDonald's is better than the food that they have, the craft service? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because they try to get, like, um, fancy about it. Right. They can't just have, like, like I'm a steak, a chicken guy. Yeah. But even if they have chicken, they got to dip it in some kind of garbage. Yeah. <laughs> show that they're not just some fucking meat truck. You know <laughs> yeah, what I yeah, mean? yeah. Look at our. Some sort of and, glaze, some yeah, honey glaze over yeah, it. Yeah, the, yeah. The steak is. And I'm like, who, who wants steak for in the afternoon? Yeah, no one. Exactly. Right. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, but, when I did my show, Dice, you know, I like made demands right like from the caterer yeah you know i said i better not see anything fancy you understand (laughs) or there'll be another caterer yeah you know my friend scott armstrong worked with you on that yeah yeah and then gatewood and tanaka if you remember that gatewood and tanaka are phenomenal i love those guys yeah scott i'd never do another thing with these things Yeah, I just, that's my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. that's fine. You, every, he doesn't every... stink as a writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, as a director, ugh. Yeah, yeah. Awful. <laughs> All right, okay, good. You good. know, and um, <laughs> like anything that I put in there that was really create, you know, like when I used to do the filming. Yeah. You know, but because I'm not a professional, I would do shit. Like when I'd work with another director on the show, here comes Scott. And I go, are you directing? <laughs> Or is this director? Yeah. Like, I forget this guy's name. He was from Philadelphia. He was fucking amazing. So that used to be a thing I would do when I would shoot my my show that never came on the air that you were part of. Yeah. Okay. I used to do a thing where I I called Doors, okay? Where I'd be filming. I might have even done it with you. I don't really... I'd have to go through the tapes, 2,000 tapes. And, um... It's just funny, you know? It's all about comedy to me. It's not about, will this work? Yes, it'll work. I'm berserk. It'll work. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. So I'm shooting this thing with a director where I'm going to go. Remember how I used to dump garbage with my sons? Yeah. They were little tiny boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still do it. Wow. And they're 25 and 21. (laughs) Dump garbage. There is nothing more enjoyable than taking... Just loads of garbage and boxes and illegally dumping it and just making it somebody else's fucking problem. Until the city decides Dice needs more than one can of garbage for regular garbage, one recycling bin, and one bin for leaves that are biodegradable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Till they go, all right, give them like 10 for like the recycling with the boxes and everything. Yeah. We're going to illegally dump. And I have filmed it. To yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But what do you do with when you're at a restaurant and they don't have straws anymore? Do you get angry? Oh no, I got straws. <laughs> oh, you bring your own. No, let me tell you something. The yeah. minute they started that shit, yeah. with the the you know the bullshit plastic straw killing a uh, Moby fucking dick, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, it's not the oil tank is the pipes bursting under the ocean. It's yeah. None of that. Not the. All the shit they dump into the... Uh, it's my straw. <laughs> <laughs> my plastic straw. Not the cups. For some reason, the fish love the cups and the lids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They love all that. Yeah. The straw is choking them out. <laughs> Fucking asshole piss. So I started stealing 
because uh, uh, I'm a thief. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a. You don't know me well, but I'm a criminal in a lot of ways. And um, so so I started stealing all the straws out of Starbucks. Ah, uh -huh. you know, it's not really stealing because you bought you bought a beverage probably. So you yeah, but I take this many, <laughs> and I keep. Uh, um, a, a giant bag and a backpack, whatever, in the back of the trunk. Yeah. With just, there's got to be at least two, three thousand. <laughs> Real deal. Yeah, I'm never running out of a plastic <laughs> trunk. Yeah. I go, bring on your, your cardboard bullshit. Yeah. The asshole that invented Starbucks that made him a multi-billionaire went... Oh, no, but we got to take the straws away now. The way I made my money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and put cardboard in there. <laughs> right. Like, it's going to last. Yeah, you don't think it's going to last? No, like the cardboard. Oh, it's not going to last. When you oh, put yeah. paper in something wet, it falls apart. <laughs> I know it does. I know it does. You know what it I mean? It takes time, but like an hour, yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't well, take an hour. Why don't you just drink it really fast? Because I... Look at my coffee. I've had that for an hour and a half. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Does, does it look done? <laughs> no, it doesn't look done. No, no, no. Is doesn't. there a plastic straw? <laughs> no, no. Yes. Yes, there is. Yes, yeah, there yeah, is. Yeah. Yes, there Think is. Think I got it from Starbucks? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Trunk. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but you have to, you, a dice. To Common have, sense. These I, I know, but I, I want to give you a compliment. Can I give you a compliment? Sure. All right. Yeah. So... Throughout your career, though, you've had a resilient career. And don't get me wrong, he's a nice guy. Who? Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Armstrong. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, a nice guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, stick to what we know. Right, That's right. That's what I said. Because I've worked with Scott. Oh, so I wanted to tell you the thing with the doors. <laughs> yeah, the oh, door, yeah, door, yeah, door, yeah. door. Go back to the doors. Yeah, because people are waiting to hear what happened with doors. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I used to do this thing. Where all right, so we're doing a scene with with my real sons in the show, where we're gonna go dump garbage. <laughs> it's the one thing they like used for me, because God forbid, they go through my tapes. Like this one producer, I don't want to say his name, but he actually produced Roseanne, <laughs> and uh, the original Roseanne. Right. And he goes, I, I don't know what's wrong with the guys you're working with. You know Alan Stevens, right? Uh, oh, he gave me my first acting job. Okay. Yeah. So he goes, if I was producing Dice the TV show, he goes, the first thing I would say is, why don't you just bore me to tears with the tapes you, you keep talking about, with the episodic tapes <laughs> that you... Just bore me for three days. Show me your tapes. Yeah. You know, yeah. because if you watch those tapes, you got episode after episode <laughs> after episode. Yeah. Of a berserk comics life. Yeah. You know, I know I'm nuts. I'm but, not nuts like But those tapes nut house nuts. you could still use because Ari Shafir now is very no, sick. I know that. And you signed it. You signed off also. Yeah, I'm on it. You know what I mean? Ari. Uh, Ari, Steve Renazizi. Uh, Sebastian. Sebastian. Um, Everybody. Everyone's in it. it. Yeah, it, yeah. It but we were young. Thing. But think of the fight with you and I. We'll get into that in a minute. With okay. the but that's what I'm saying. I wanted violence in the show. They wouldn't even give me the violence I wanted. Wow. You know, on dice. You know, it, it, it's Scott, this fucking yo yo. <laughs> you know, and I know he did old school. Good for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I created rock and roll comedy. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the Rose Bowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. And he's going to tell me what I need to do on film. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason people showed up. That's why I was talking about the internet. You forgot that part. Mm -hmm. When I said no Twitter, no Facebook, because of these reasons, because people are assholes. They're older, they never went anywhere, and they're just fucking bitter. And then, so I stuck with Instagram, because at least with Instagram, it's creative. Right. You know what I mean? People get creative. Yeah. You know, except most of the women with their sayings. Don't let him <laughs> define you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dear Rabbi. You know what I mean? Don't let him define <laughs> Trust the fucking process. What process? You open my legs, you know, lick my balls. Then I glue my balls to your fat ass. That's the whole process. 
you know, you, I'm with you want to talk I'm with about you. my nice. I'm not your enemy. I'm with you. My my new nice sweet girlfriend. Yeah. What do you think we was doing all night? Why do you think I had to come here later? I know, you know but I, I mean? don't care about those <laughs> no, details. No, no, about no. what I just no, no well, just shut well, the fuck up. I just give you a fucking compliment. <laughs> how beautiful she is, and I don't care about if you smashed her or grabbed her little tooth. Why are you talking about her like that? <laughs> You know, just, your girlfriend, to, to, she's a sweet know, girl. I know she she's, is. I call her Sugar Plum. Oh. oh. See what I mean? Oh. But see, when a guy what? <laughs> says something like, let's say a girl gets out of a car, you know, is dressed a certain way. Oh, I like those pants you wear. And I've had this fight, by the way. Yeah. And and I'll say to the guy, like, what, what does that mean? <laughs> and I go, what do you what, is it, what do you think it means? I like the pants. No, no, but I know, because I'm from Brooklyn, what that means. <laughs> what does that mean? You don't know, because of where you're from, see? No, but I'm just saying, you mean if a guy complimented on you on your pants? No, on a girl. On a girl. Oh, on a girl's pants, yeah. yeah. You go, oh, I like those pants. Yeah, well, why? Why? What, what, what is it your business? Why does she need to know how you like her pants? Uh... That's the guy's way of getting away with saying... I'd like to fuck you. Mm-hmm. Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I have friends for years. Beautiful girlfriend. You got a beautiful girlfriend. I'm not going to comment on anything about her. It's not my business right. to compliment. So, you know, when you're a guy, right. You're right. You know, I have a lot of girlfriends who like it, but when 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 a part when they're not being complimented on their looks, but an object that they're wearing. And I always tell him, that's actually bullshit. He's telling you, he's coming on to you. He's just being subtle about it and being roundabout about it. And he's coming on right in front of the guy. Yeah, I know right. exactly. You're absolutely right. But I don't stand for that. See? Oh, you stop it. Yeah. You stop it. Yeah. No, he'll go. They make like, I don't know what you're talking No, you know exactly what I'm talking uh, Like I would say to this guy, I go, do I have a comp? Compliment your your wife yeah. on anything she's wearing or an outfit or no, because then it's me getting away with saying, "Hey, I wouldn't mind getting a piece of this." Oh, yeah. See, I don't buy that. So shit. if I saw you with your girlfriend, yeah, on the don't street. even look at her. <laughs> I don't like anybody really looking at her for long. Like you see how so if, I'm I, bas- if I meet her, I'm I, do a, I do a glance like if that. If you one- notice, if you watch the tapes back. <laughs> He used to look at her once. Watch the tapes back. <laughs> yeah. I'm basically, like, I'll give her a glance. <laughs> yeah, I've you know? noticed that. But, I've already uh, but I'm that. basically focused on you. <laughs> right. What if I sat here like this? <laughs> so, Bobby, you know what I think, Bob? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know That'd what I mean? Weird. No, right, it's class. You know. I know the difference. You know the difference. It's a Brooklyn. It's from Brooklyn. That's right. Sorry to interrupt, but we have a favorite sponsor we want to share with you. Postmates! Postmates! If you're hungry and you don't want to drive anywhere, Postmates! Postmates is your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, whatever kind of delivery service all year round. Anything you're craving, Postmates can deliver. They're the largest on-demand network in the U.S., and offer delivery from all the restaurants, grocery, and convenience stores, and traditional retailers you can possibly want to need or need. 24 hours a day, 365 days a Postmates year. will bring you what you need. I'm reading it within the... Oh, don't do that again. <laughs> no, <laughs> no more trips to the store. You don't even know where the store is. Postmates yeah. will... Anything Bring to you. over anything. To I you. told you I was doing it. <laughs> Download the app for iOS or Android for free. Browse local restaurants, restaurants. and businesses. You finish it if you're gonna finish it. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, finish it. Go, no, go, babe. Finish the sentence and no, and track, track your, your delivery in real time. For a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners one hundred dollars of free delivery credit for your first seven days. So start your free deliveries. Download the app and use the code Belly. That's the code Belly for one hundred dollars of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Anything you need, anytime you need it, Postmate it. Download Postmates and save with the code Belly. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, there's no respect in America oh. <laughs> with guys. Yeah, there's no respect. There's no respect. You better you better <laughs> off with an ethnic group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The white male is an asshole. <laughs> Exactly. I'm, I'm just telling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would I come across all the time? <laughs> yeah. 
You know, when I meet fans that are, aren't white guys, yeah, the most respectful, nicest. You know, they're not in your face with a fucking camera. You know, yeah. grabbing you, going, "Oh, this came out blurry." So I fucking hate you. <laughs> okay, I took a picture with you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're just disrespectful. That's that's what it's come down to. It, it, it's so funny because when we used to t at the store. Mm -hmm. Before cell phones and digital cameras, oh yeah, right? tell them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this is great. So this You'll is great. It. You're gonna love this. So we would people would have disposable cameras, uh -huh. right? The things that you would just go to Kodak and get them. Yeah, yeah right. And so whenever um, they would ask Dice for photo, he would have one of us take the photo. But we knew the rule. They knew the routine. Did we knew the routine. You always cut Dice's head out of the. <laughs> So you have to, you had to angle it down sometimes. It would be like or this. Angle, yeah, yeah. It would be like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, all right, Bobby, take the picture. <laughs> yeah. So that I'm, um, you know, you're me, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So instead of like this, yeah, you know, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And some would people tilt would go, are you are you getting the picture? And go, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> like, why wouldn't you be getting the picture? Or else it would be like, you know, like this. Yeah, like yeah. Getting my shoulder. Yeah. You know, but I'm never in. I would love to see so many of those pictures. There was that a, would, and I always laughed when how I many, thought of them. How many beautiful moons and stars. <laughs> I know. But imagine, you know, going back to Michigan, right? And you're going to the Kodak store and you get the pictures back and none of them. <laughs> of I loved when the new generation of comics came in, which was... Bobby and Renis Easy and did Ari ever go anywhere? Yeah, he's big now. Other than the ghosts? <laughs> no, 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 he's he's killing it. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I saw him in New York. He yeah, shaved yeah, yeah. his head or something. Yeah, yeah. To me, it was like taxi drive. <laughs> um, uh, he's a snapper head. Yeah. You know, um, like I said, you know, Bobby, Sebastian, all these guys were the new guys, and they were so much more fun than the guys I came up with. Mm -hmm. Because, number one, I always stood away from the pack. Mm. It's just the way it went because when my career took off, like what comics go through today with the uh, politically correct stuff, mm -hmm. I, I, I piss on them now. Because when my career took off, I had the world... It was like, picture if you're the only one ever being attacked for political correctness. Mm -hmm. Right. That's where I became the biggest comic in the world, hands down, and everybody knows that to this day. Like, I love when I talk to the guys that are honest about the shit. Like, like you know who talks about it the best? Joe Rogan. Like, he goes, yeah, there are guys today doing... Like, if he has a comic like Ari, you know, that jealous prick. <laughs> but if you remember, in in the... And I love Ari. I'm fine. I know, I Ari, love him, but he's a but jealous he's fucking prick. He's a jealous prick. fucking... He's prick not head. a good-looking guy. You know? Ugly, one of the worst. That big <laughs> fucking hook nose. You know... You know? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. nice guy. I'm friends with him. <laughs> but even when I filmed what we called the show, yeah, you know, with my camera, he was the antagonist. That was his part. So whoever was my friend in the show, Ari would come over to them. This is on film. And he goes, what, what, what are you talking to Dice for? Like, he's done. Like, he, you want to talk to me? I'm the big star now. Yeah. You know, so he was the antagonist. Like, Steve Renazizi? Yeah. Not Steve Renazizi. Um, wait, uh, 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 Simone. Steve Simone. Steve Simone. He played the part I called Misery. <laughs> you know how he's always miserable about stuff and angry? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, he's so lightened I, up over the years. But, no, yeah. but no, I'm friends with him. I know. You know? Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is his part on, on film was always upset and angry, you'd see him come through the double doors at a comedy, you know, of the kitchen going, fuck this fucking shit, and he's just angry, <laughs> yeah, miserable. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, uh, Mike Morano? Yeah. You know who that is? I know who Mike Morano is, yes. Yeah, okay. So, no, because he, he never became like a big star, you know. Why like not? Why do you think that happened? Let me. Can I ask you that? Why do you think some people just don't make it? They don't have the X factor. Uh, yeah, the the that st that star thing. Wow, you know, are you? I'm not saying you, he doesn't. I know, but are you born with that, or can you learn? Yeah, no, that? you're born with that. Right, you either got that or you don't. You wow, know? and um, that's why they do a show now called The X Factor. You either have that or you don't. Right, you know, 
you know, there are people that stand on stage could just not be funny, but they become superstars because they have a star. They're a star. Right. You know, that's what Mitzi used to look for, you know. And, um, but anyway, Mike Marino, is it Marino or Moreno? Because I got two different friends. One's Moreno, one's I, Marino. I used to call him Mike Marino. All right. Well, whatever it is, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. We his part was called, he was the Russian. Even though he was Italian. <laughs> Why did you pause like that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really. Yeah, but that really is really, I don't do that again. That was, that was crazy. You were looking at me, I was looking at you. <laughs> you were the one that's talking, it was crazy that you did that. I don't, I don't do it. Okay. All right. So anyway, his part was the Russian. Yes. Because he's, he's Italian, but he's a blonde Italian. Yeah. You know, I'm very light skinned. Yeah. Okay. Like, I don't even think people believe he's Italian because of how... So his part was the Russian. Right. You know? Um, Sebastian was always puzzled. Yeah. In, in, the, in the tapes. Yeah. Like, he would watch me, like, from a distance and go, "What what's going on <laughs> with Dice? <laughs> yeah. You know, and why is he walking... And Ari would be like, He's got the camera. He's just looking for something to do. You understand? <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. one time, my son Dylan just buried Ari on film. Wow. And Dylan was seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you saw this clip, yeah, you'd be amazed because Ari's playing foosball with Dylan. Yeah. You know, so Ari's at that time what thirty? <laughs> you know. Yeah. And yeah. Dylan's seven. Yeah. And for whatever reason, Ari's going. You know. I don't really think your dad's funny, you know. Oh, yeah. And Dylan just looks at him, you know, and Dylan goes, what'd you say? You know, and he goes, <laughs> I, I, I don't think your dad is funny. Yeah. Like, he's needling the kid. And Dylan goes, uh, did you ever do the Rosemont in Chicago? <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then he goes, did you ever do three nights at the Mecca in Milwaukee? <laughs> Which is actually where Bill Burr saw me and decided, I'm going to do that. Wow. Yeah, like I love hearing these guys' stories because yeah. I become friends with them, you know. Uh, can it, I just say something about Dylan and Max real quick? No, but wait, let me just say this. <laughs> but can the I, end uh, of the scene is Ari <laughs> to a seven-year-old. Yeah, yeah. It's going, like he's broken. And he goes, well, you know, uh, I work. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, it's the greatest yeah. thing. He's trying to bury this kid's yeah. father. Yeah, yeah. And the seven year old the knows the credits. Right. You know? Are you going to, can we see it or no? How do we see these tapes? Well, there is going to be a documentary. Nice. You know, and uh, I'm working on all that now. Please, good, because you I know. think that's got to come out in some it, form. It, it's the funniest shit. I can't ever. wait. What I was telling you with fucking Armstrong. Yeah. Right? <laughs> is so we're shooting this scene where we're gonna go dump garbage, which was one of the few things they took from my life. Right. That they're gonna use in one of the episodes, other than what they made up. Instead of just like my son say, if you did a show with Axel Rose, wouldn't you let him be Axel? Yeah. You know, why don't right. you just listen to my father's stories and let him be dice? Yeah. Okay. But don't you have the power to go, I'm, let's do this? No, when you're working with a network, you know how difficult oh, yeah, well, that, uh, because then you become the problem. Right. All right. So we're shooting a, a scene with another director where, all right, so we get in the truck, doors close, <laughs> cut, reset, open the two back doors, slam those, open the moonroof. Slam that. Yeah. Oh, no, I had him shoot through the moonroof to get angles of the doors. So in editing, it could be like the doors close a hundred times. Like they're coming out to the car. Shut the... Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the car goes. Yeah. So, but what Scott would do in editing... <laughs> in editing... Yeah, yeah. Just cut out all the funny. Mm. Uh, you're not because it wasn't his idea, and when he came over to the director, going, "What are you doing?" I go, "Is he directing or are you directing?" Right. Like he shouldn't have even been on the set when there was another director. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, like let us do our thing. Let dice be dice. But as a you, producer, he could still go to the editing room and fucking cut it out, and that's what he would do. Yeah. You know, I never Scott, forget, oh, I, fuck, I did this fuck, one. Scott. I remember that was another <laughs> oh, episode. What the fuck? 
No, I got nothing against the guy. You're a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, look, to sit down with him and have a hamburger, it's yeah, okay. Yeah. But, you know, what's funny is anytime I've done my own show, yeah. you know, it's always an honor to work with me. They give you that bullshit. Mm. Oh, it's such an honor. You're a legend. You're an icon. Till you're on the set. Right. You know, till you're in the writing room and they go, oh, we got this. Yeah, I got an idea. We're gonna, you in we're gonna connect all the episodes this season like everybody else did to make it lead up to this one fucking event. Yeah. I'm going, why not just listen to what I'm telling you? Yeah. I had a war with a fucking carpet guy <laughs> that nearly got so violent I could have gone to jail. At your house? No. I was and I wanted Scott to do this episode. Yeah. All right. And I wonder why I haven't seen a series from him since Dice. Yeah. <laughs> no, because you got to do at least three seasons. I mean, HBO, Showtime, they give you six, seven episodes. Wait, you didn't get three seasons? You, it's not even... If you do three seasons, that's like one full season on CBS. Right. You know what I mean? They so, do ten or so how are you going to sell more shows if you didn't even get three fucking seasons out of it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, why wasn't that? You know, like, yeah. people come to me all the time going... You know, Dice was great, Wiz Moore, whatever. Because people don't know the frustration behind the scenes. Okay. So while we're shooting this show, I decide I'm going to change all the carpet in my house. I believe in that. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't believe in hardwood floors. That's rid... I, sorry, that's fucking ridiculous. Why? It just... Hardwood floors are the jam, my friend. No, that's what everybody's doing. It's the fucking jam of 2000. No, that's what everybody's doing. Say it. So, I'm not going to say... No, is that what everybody's doing? I don't it's know. Yes, I don't want to make a... yes or no I don't, don't want to make an assumption that everyone's well, doing it. you just said it's a jam, meaning... Yeah. Why is it a jam? Because you don't that's have to... what everybody's doing. <laughs> say it. It's okay. All right. It's a jam. <laughs> I don't mean it, but hardware well, floors are the jam because that's what everyone is doing. All right, okay. I was never the guy to do something. All right, the first time I put carpet in my house, like when Max was born, Yeah. when I bought my first house, whatever. So I go to a carpet store. I've been going to this place for years. And I go, I want Berber carpet. So the guy says to me, well, let me show you what everybody's doing. And I go... Why the fuck would I care what everybody's doing? Do I look like everybody? <laughs> yeah. I'm wearing a studded fucking 9,000 studs on a leather jacket in a carpet store. <laughs> Smoking a cigarette in the carpet store, which you're allowing me to do because I am dice. Do I look like I'm the guy that follows the pack and does what everybody's doing? Get me Berba. <laughs> Just yeah. get me fucking Berba. Yeah. What and, is and, and what is Berba? It's just a certain style of carpet. All right, fine. It's like a <laughs> nubby carpet. Get him the nubby Berba carpet. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry to interrupt, but we have this awesome sponsor to tell you about. Bing, bing. Liquid IV. Bing, bing. You guys, honestly... I've been drinking liquid IV without even knowing because we have these packets mm -hmm. and what it is, it's, it's a packet, it's a powder and you put it in water. I'm not kidding you right now. I feel so good right now. It's got three times electrolytes, five essential vitamins, great taste. It tastes delicious, better than any Gatorade or any beverage you would get at the store. And if you're someone on always on the move like me, Bing. I go on long hikes. I never go on any hikes without having Bing. a couple um, electrolyte packets with me. And when I do more intense workouts like Soul Cycle, this mm. is an indispensable thing to have to give you that extra boost mid mid workout or yeah. after your workout. Uh, um, Liquid IV is the fastest growing wellness brand. You can find them anywhere these days. You can find them at your local Costco, Whole Foods. Um, it's non GMO, vegan, free of gluten, dairy, and soy. Clean ingredients. Mm. 
Convenient TSA-friendly powder packets for travel helps jet lag and altitude sickness. Get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BELLY at checkout. That's Find Liquid IV's hydration multiplier at your local Costco and Whole Foods. It's the optimal ratio of glucose, Non-GMO, vegan, and free gluten, dairy, and soy. Sodium potassium delivers water and nutrients into the bloodstream. No way. That's 25% off anything you order on Liquid IV's website. Just go to liquidiv.com and enter the promo code BELLY to save 25% off and get better hydration. That's liquidiv.com, promo code BELLY. Don't wait. Start properly hydrating today. Enjoy the rest of the show. Okay. So now, here we are a few years ago. I'm doing dice. You understand? Yeah. I took a coffee break. (laughs) And I'm redoing the carpets in my house. I do the whole house. With Berber the Carpet. boys' room? No, we're way past Berber. They were one when I did the Berber. Okay, they're what, in their twenties. What kind of carpet? time is gone? What by. kind of carpet now? It's is a different it? house. It's what kind home. of carpet is it now? Mind your business. What kind of <laughs> different times? Uh, all right. Like different rooms had different themes. All right. Okay. God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right. So I have the guy do my my whole house of carpet, and. He winds up talking me into this black carpet in my room. Because, uh. you know, at any given moment, you would have checked, you want to throw on the floor. That's part of the reason for carpet. I don't want to bang around a wooden floor. <laughs> you have a bed. Let me let me explain something. Anybody could do it in the bed. I got it a bed now and then with her. Yeah, but the, we could do it in the forest and then on a roller coaster, but the bed is for fucking. No. <laughs> the is roller coaster is not going to happen. Okay. The forest, I don't hike. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, like, for instance, I got this, I got this giant red shag area rug, 12 by 15 or 14 in my bathroom. It's beyond belief. Yeah. Wool. Great. I don't buy the cheap shit. We didn't ask. I don't need synthetic. You want, or you want. You walk in. Okay. There's your chick getting ready for the big Saturday night date that she pressured you into to take her to a restaurant that you don't want to go to and sit there after you eat <laughs> stuffed because we didn't spend enough time in the restaurant and she wants another fucking drink anyway. Yeah. Because God forbid they walk out and they're not falling all over the fucking place. <laughs> yeah. Walk in like a lady, walk out, walking into fucking walls, talking loud. Yeah. God forbid that night doesn't happen. So I come in the bathroom while she's getting ready. She's in the fucking uh, the panties with the half fucking bra, or whatever. Ooh la la. And I'm looking. So you grab her by your hair, you throw her on the fucking rug, <laughs> you give her two, three pumps, and you throw her back at the makeup, and you go, "That's how beautiful I think you are." <laughs> And you only did one eye. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? So She's not even done with the makeup. Oh, oh what eye, right. Do you right. know what a compliment that is That's when great. a chick's only got half her makeup on? <laughs> yeah. And you're banging her on the red rug already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. she's got to be thinking, I can't even begin to imagine what happens with both and I'm both eyes done. Yeah, yeah, wow. But now I gotta wait for the restaurant and the bullshit she wants to talk about. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, my friend is opening up a, 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 a bun cake restaurant. <laughs> you know, rest- whatever the fuck yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now when you when, when you have she, no idea what I went through with bun but, cake. I know, but when she says, well, okay, when she brings that stuff up, do you feign interest, or do you go shut up? No, I don't say shut up yeah, because yeah. I want to continue to bang. You're right. So I'll so you drink go, along with her. Right. And you you hear and about the bunk forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know. And uh, no, the new girlfriend's very smart. The new girlfriend. She seems very bright. She's like somebody, she's got, I don't want to say where she works, but she's a career girl. Ah. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't give a lot of information out of about course. her. Of course, I don't want to know anything about her. No, I just don't want the people listening to know. No one's going to know about anything her. about her. Well, they will if I say it. I know, but I know, but don't just don't. I'm not. Why would I <laughs> if I said I'm not gonna? 
I, can I just say because we have to because we. Wait, ha- I want to get back to the one leg up. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. All right, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. I, I have something this, too. One so leg. Do one leg up. I want to know how. It's I have done. something to say, no, but I want to hear it from him. Hey, I, I, one leg up. Go ahead. All right. So you're talking about you're looking to have kids at some moment. Maybe yes, possibly. Okay. <laughs> but you're the one that said it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So this is a sexual relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got to make sure. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. What do you mean, of course? Who knows with people today? I, that's fine. You're right. I could be, I could be asexual and not right. do it. No, I don't know what she is, what you are. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I go, pop, pop, pop. I'm like a rabbit. I don't care what you, how you style. Number one, <laughs> that's not how it works for me. Oh, right. You're a slow yeah. fucker. No, I, I, we just got done, basically, before I dropped her off to go home. Right. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I so was anyway, six lo- what's, the the one le- what's the one leg? I don't, I don't look for speed bangs. Never right, did. Right, right. You, you, don't, you, power got, fuck, you, you gotta, don't power fuck in there? It's powerful. <laughs> you know, yeah, there's yeah. power banging. There's yeah, all yeah. kinds of shit. Yeah, I'm a yeah. technician. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah. you know, all right. You know how, <laughs> like, you bring your car in, right? You bring your car in. Right. All right. The, the thing ain't working. Right. Right. So the mechanic, he walks around. Takes a look at the car, gets down. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can fix this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So whenever I go with a girl, I never treat them like the last. Like this is like the first real relationship I've had in I don't know two and a half years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like after the last one, I had to take a break. You know how you gotta like come back to yourself. Sure. You know, and then I had a heart attack. I, I nearly forgot that. Oh my you god, know. I didn't know that. No, it's all right. All right, I get them. You know, um, <laughs> some people get headaches. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, but I had like a, a walk through heart attack. Uh. You know, and um, so like I had to recoup, and I started working out, and you know, training myself. So that's what I love to do. Like I was thinking, I won't even have a real relationship again. Like I, I just couldn't see. Getting into a full-on relationship again. Yeah. You know, you meet a chick somewhere, you drag her back to the place, you do whatever, take care of yourself. I'll call you an Uber. Like, that's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's today's girl. That's all they're looking for. Will you pay for my Uber? <laughs> yeah, yeah, both ways. What do I get? <laughs> yeah, yeah, We're yeah. not leaving the house, no dinner, no talk, you know. Yeah. They're nuts. It's hard to meet quality today is what I'm saying. Are we going back to the leg up thing? Be- yeah. Okay, good. So... <laughs> So, you know Ellen was the ex-fiance? Yeah, I know. Hey, that's how I met the new girlfriend. Wow. Eleanor delivered her. Wow. Mm, I love Eleanor. We love, we've, she's I been love on it. Eleanor's the best. Yeah. Like, we were in... Um, Remember she hated me for so all, all those years? You want to get into that? No, but no. Oh, well, okay, okay, okay. Was, the next time... All right. We would love you... Cu- just before you finish the story, I love you so much. You're, this is, you're, you're so good at this. Yes, yeah, so and why are you rushing everything? Because we have another guest coming in. Who? You know Moshe Kasher? Moshe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Moshe's coming. Um, Natasha's. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. She was my girlfriend. I know. I, I, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. I never met Moshe. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to meet him now. He's coming. All right. All right. So anyway. Oh, wait. I did meet him. <laughs> this is funny. This is funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the Mitzi Memorial. Remember that night? Yeah, yeah. All right. Wow. So I was getting, so before we all go in, everybody's in the back parking lot of the comedy store. It's, so I'm getting grabbed a lot, okay? Yeah. People, I don't like, you know, that's bad, you know, when people put I don't their ever touch you. Them. You know, no, you can. I don't care. I would see, you know. Yeah, yeah. But all of a sudden, somebody grabs my arm. We're going in, and I go, hands off. You know, get your fucking hand. Yeah. And I turn around, and it's Natasha with Moshe. <laughs> you know, and she goes, did you hear that to him? Yeah. And yeah. I go, I didn't know it was you. Yeah. I thought it's this asshole that's been bothering me. That was some guy there. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. There's yeah. always some asshole that thinks, you know. Yeah, why not? They're going to make it at a memorial. <laughs> 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 It's, it's real fucking. Uh, it's it's sad. It's sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, um, 
What were we talking about? Leg up. Oh, all right. <laughs> so, Eleanor, you know, we're in Dallas, whatever, and Eleanor's on the phone, like always. She don't know how to put it down for a minute. Anyway, she looks up at me. She's got this big smile. She goes, this is good. And I go, what? She goes, do you remember... This girl I told you that I met on a cruise that, uh, no, no. Yeah. She So she shows me a picture. Yeah. She goes, well, she's coming to the show tomorrow. I'm looking at the picture. I go, you're kidding. She goes, yeah, and she was single. I go, yeah, but that's like a year ago. <laughs> yeah. Chicks like this aren't left out on the street. Yeah, they're you know not, I mean? no. Is she still single? Yeah. I don't know. Well, find out. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and she was single. Wow. And the minute we met, when we started talking, pew, you know. Pew, pew. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So now I got to get back in the saddle. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Because I'm rusty. I'll admit when I'm rusty. You didn't know how to go in and out or? No, it's not about that. Anybody could do that. See, that's the problem with most men. They don't really care about, like I said, you. every girl is different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, right. yeah, I can fix this. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. the car. Yeah. I'm not going to treat a new girlfriend the way I treated the old girlfriend. She might not be into or like the things that girl likes. Yeah. So I get to know, I break them down. You got to break them down. You, <laughs> you got to break them down. Yeah. <laughs> Write that down. Break them down. That's the first thing. Yeah. You get a girl, you break them down. You got to break them down to... Into category, what they like. I don't mean mentally. <laughs> oh, I didn't re erase it. <laughs> don't write it down. Sorry, my bad. I was excited. I go. I wanted to, but I'm saying you gotta, you gotta break that. Like, all right, you got the the oil. Does it need an oil change? Does it need new brake pads? I get it. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I had to break it down. So you start with the simple shit. Right. You know, hop on top. You know what I mean? Yeah. Missionary. Right. Different styles. Yeah. 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 You don't want to let her know what you know. Right. I, I put my life into this. Right. This is what I've studied. It's why the act is the act. Yeah. Because you're I a master study, of sorts. I, I, I study human behavior. Yeah. Like I see the couple in the front that can't stand each other. Uh, you know, like I'll say to a guy, you married 33, what what gets you through the next 24 hours? <laughs> <laughs> like when you think about it. Yeah, like yeah. 24, 34 years with this? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're looking at a girl that looks like she was hit by a bus like <laughs> two or three times, you know? You, do you, you see what I'm saying? I, I, I'm right like, there with what you. What would make you like I not know. move to another state? I <laughs> I know, I, mean? I, I know, I like know. Like, I've told guys in the crowd, I go, you could get up. Honey, I got to use the bathroom. Yeah. And just... Never come... Fucking vanish. <laughs> Forget about whatever things you own, car. Yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah. Just go somewhere. Never get into... Even if you got kids. Forget and them. <laughs> Forget it all. <laughs> Start new. Start anew. Do you okay. keep your same name? When you go to another state? Yeah, I yeah. No, I never had to do that. All right, okay. I'm but the asshole other... that goes through divorce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the asshole that even if if you don't owe them money, some judge goes, well, I don't like what you do, so you do owe money. Wow. Oh, Did you, yeah, in this state, forget yeah. it. I want to say something about your kids, though, because you have powerful sperm, <laughs> because your kids are prodigies. Yes. Max and Dylan, Andrew Dice Clay's children are the most talented kids I've ever seen. They're, they're, they're like virtuoso musicians. Thank you. Y you know this. Well, I, I, you see, this is, this is the bad part of having, you know, uh, kids that are, that are talented. Yeah. If you're any kind of celebrity, it's harder for those kids to get places because people go, oh, just because the father's so-and-so. Mm -hmm. No, that's what goes on. I know, but, it, we but I'm telling you right now, though, I've seen it firsthand. I've heard it firsthand. Yeah, they're pretty and great. And I know these they children. Do. They really are super talented kids, man. Well, people And are, that kid, kid Dylan, I love Max. Your son, younger son, Dylan, is a sweetheart. Thank you. 
Yeah. Right? We have to do this thing called unhelpful advice. This is how we close out the show. Somebody emails me, us a problem. You could either help or not help, right? But can you listen to the email? What about one leg up? No, we yeah, have. We... Yes, one leg up. I, I, I need to do a question. What happens if you don't answer? We don't have to do a question. question. It's fine. Yeah. You we, want we, me? we can cut that out. <laughs> we'll cut that portion out. <laughs> let Moish. Fuck that. Yeah. One leg up. How many up. questions do you normally one. have? One. All right. So let it Moish answer two. All right. Well, <laughs> Really? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Osha will answer what too. What I'm saying is, after missionary, now you start <laughs> feeling the chick out. Yeah, yeah. They're all built out differently. They're all shaped differently. Right. So you got to find what makes them tick, right? Right. So you go missionary. You dog them out a minute or two. <laughs> There's no dogging. It's prison style with us because we have a height discrepancy. <laughs> What? I'm so short that I, if I we do dog, I can't do we it. Can't, we can't. So she has to lay on her stomach. It's and I have to lay on top of her like some sort of koala flat. bear it's on like a prison tree. Prison style. Yeah, prison style. Prison style. Yeah. yeah. Laying on top like. She's on her stomach. We're this doing doggy flat. style, but she's not on her fours. She's like a dead dog. Oh, dead. Uh, this is you really that <laughs> basic. <laughs> I don't. I don't have the height because she's tall. So I, I then I would have to get stand up. up. All right, you're taller than this, right? Yeah, I'm not a so, dwarf. Is, no, well, I know that. So how how high is the bed? <laughs> let's say the bed is this high. It's a low bed. It's a low bed. All right. But like, all right. So I'm, let, okay. I'm not looking to be this. Well, I, 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 no, just listen. This is me doing doggy style, but her ass is here. <laughs> all right. So that, what I have to do is I have to stand and do. Something. How tall are you? I'm five. Wait, eight. stand up. Let me just say you're next to each other. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing like a tall chick. I know, but she has to get on her stomach and I have to do it that way. (laughs) No, but what if she was bent over on the bed, still like standing there? You can't do that? What do you call that? I just don't have the balance for it. I'm sorry. I don't have. (laughs) All right, so now you're on the bed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's say her back is to you. Right. What makes this position exciting is that it's one of the most... All right, she's supposedly a nice girl. That's why you go with her. Yes. Mm. Okay. Allegedly. <laughs> you know. Allegedly. No. I, you know, I didn't see her in the comedy scene. You know, she's so, not a comic. So no. she's not a run around. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you give a direct order. <laughs> her back is to you. You're messing around. You're rubbing up again. Whatever. You're waking her up. One leg up. What is and that? She'll be like, what? Yeah. One leg up. <laughs> So they pick the leg up. So you come in from that angle, which is a very lewd angle. If you get and take some selfies of it, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll want to see that. Yeah. Because the nicer the girl, the more exciting one leg up is. Ah. But she's facing away from you. What girl does that? Yeah. You know, just no good in her heart. So I'm going to say, <laughs> you're right. So I say, so it's, one. Uh, did, let me just rehearse it real quick. Okay. One leg up. All right. Now uh, she, she'll be like, what? Because she's getting woken up. So you got to get it more <laughs> like like, like a drill sergeant. Oh. So you do it. All right. So, so I'll be like. <laughs> so I wake up. I'm so I'll sneak in bed, right? Yeah, yeah. Can I be the girl here? All right. Yeah. And, well, she doesn't. Oh, you just say I like, just wa- what? I just, oh, I just woke right, up. All right. Mm. Wait a minute. All right. So I'm Good in morning. the bed and. uh. Good morning. Yeah. So you start like. Uh, like Banging against her. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. to get a bone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like in the bone zone. Yeah, bone, bone, bone zone. Bone zone. Bone zone. Yeah, yeah, you want to get in the bone zone. Yeah, yeah. It's very important. <laughs> it's very important. You know? Yeah. That's half the battle. That's half the battle because you're going after the uh, the purple bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to use dirty words. Yeah, I get it. I get it. There's I get a girl it. Yeah. on the show. Yeah, yeah. So you want the purple bacon, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you get in the bone zone, all right? Yeah, yeah. In the bone zone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One leg up. Yeah. What? One leg up. Okay, okay. There you go. There we go. Uh, yeah. Now, this is the key. Yeah. This is the key. Yeah. yeah. They'll always go with the one leg up. <laughs> because they can't believe they're doing it themselves. Right. Okay. Mm. So you got to be ready to invade. By the time that leg is up, you get in there. Yeah. Okay. She might start 
to lower the leg a little. <laughs> because it burns. You know, too bad. What All if right. she goes, I'm sorry, it no, burns. You know what a chokehold is, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Not around her neck. Yeah. Yeah, help her out, because she's a good sport. Yeah, she's yeah. got the leg. <laughs> yeah. So you wrap your arm around the thigh mm. with the one leg up. Ah. You know? Mm. And you attack... You act as if you know how horses sometimes no like, way those stirrups. So <laughs> no, yeah, you act now, like, now you got the one leg up. Yeah, yeah. You got the bone in bone zone. Up. Bone yeah, zone. bone yeah. zone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're in the bone zone, but now you got the bone in <laughs> bone. Oh, yeah. You know how like oh, yeah. when you go to a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We yeah. got the ribeye with the bone in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always better. You'll wind up looking at her going. <laughs> bone in. Bone in. <laughs> yeah. You know? Right. I get it. Yeah. But now you got your hand free. Wait, wait. Let me just let me go through this. I have both arms on her leg. To no, help. no. One arm. Once you once you put the chokehold on the thigh. Yeah, yeah. On the chubby little thigh. Yeah, yeah. Not that, I'm I'm just adding flavor. I know you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay. No, because you're thin. You're you're, yeah, you're, yeah, you're a thin, thin girl. girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, so she one. should actually gain a little. <laughs> You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That, write that down. Gain a little, Gain babe. A little. Gain a little more beef, more yeah, beef. More beef. Or I can't do the fucking leg thing. Okay. No, you can do the leg thing. You get more of a bounce. If they, ah, you know. I got it, yeah. Okay. But now you got your fingers free to work <laughs> the other part of whatever's there. Uh, I don't want to talk dirty words. Right. You know, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, brown, the brown star. Mm-hmm. The brown star. The asshole? That's the asshole. No. No, no, no. <laughs> no brown no, star. No I don't brown. like that. Yeah. No brown star. Well, what's star. down there? The taint, the brown star, and the purple bacon. My back is to you, right? Right. Forget the brown star. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no. The moose lips should be enough. <laughs> You got the moose lips wrapped around the bone. I know, but the thing is, is that it's you wet in there. You made it so vague, like all the stuff down there. No, because there. the the butt is against you, right? For the most part, she needs to be able to slap her ass. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now I know. I'm a, I'm a scholar. Right? I don't know. I'm learning. Yeah, you're already in the yolk. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Right. You're already in there. <laughs> yeah, Leave yeah, the yeah. brown star alone. The brown star's got enough work to do. <laughs> You're right, later. Okay, the front of her. Oh, right, the front of her. Yeah, okay, the, yeah. the button, whatever you want to call oh, it. Yeah, yeah. You work down of... Ah, uh, uh, with your, fi- you, uh, the, you, your you, fi- the hand that's free. Yeah, right. because you got the arm around. Right, so you're doing a whole so you thing. You got five fucking fingers to work with here. Right. Now, if you can't make her blow, <laughs> you know... Like heavy, yeah. At that point, yeah. I don't want to say anything, but she should leave you. (laughs) (laughs) She should just fucking leave. Yeah. Have you ever had a girl? Let me ask you this. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Have you ever had a girl that came to you with a problem? Yeah. That said, uh, in her life, she's never been able to, uh, you know, come get. I don't like using that kind of. See, I is never that what said you it. fucking mean, though? Come. Yeah, I guess. Well, that, 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 well, just I just said it. This is a podcast. Yeah, We're I can say whatever I want. It's right. my house. Don't tell people that. They already. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, but I'm saying, <laughs> have you ever had a girl come to you and say, you know, in my life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like it's all electronics to them. Yeah. No good. No good. Mm. No. You gotta break them of the habit. Mm. Well, dice. Get them in the bone zone. Okay, that, we've learned so much from you, and I, I, I have to say, I, <laughs> I, we could do another three hours, mm-hmm. but I, ha- we have to wrap it up, and it hurts me to All say right, that. Because- this, this bothers me because. <laughs> uh, I. What's the reason we're wrapping? Because again? Moisha is waiting now. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. <laughs> what's more fun? <laughs> I know. What? 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 What's more fun? Look at him with the with the watch. <laughs> it, 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 what's more fun? Why what, you know? I don't want to talk about the phones, but why? You probably get them for free, right? No, I have to pay for them. <laughs> I'm not there yet. 
No, I'm talking about oh, the family. Oh. <laughs> because we build it? Yeah. Yeah, my people. No, we don't. You don't have one <laughs> person. Oh, because it's not a Samsung. It's, that could it's sneak iPhone. one out a back door. <laughs> No, no, no. Like when he's leaving the factory. <laughs> but can I? I want to say. Grab a box of them. Guys, I'm telling you right now, what we just did is gold. Yeah, so. Yeah, no, what I'm no, <laughs> no, what I'm saying is is that my gratitude of you coming here. Oh, no. I'll, I'll do this. This is one of the most fun ones I've, yeah, this, I've ever done. Because we, we, I don't even do podcasts. Yeah, I know. I would love to have you back. And then the next time we fucking have him, don't do. We never do two back to back. But you fucked up. <laughs> you fucked up. We have a legend here, and now I'm going to be rude. White guy. Cut. There we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> All right, so give Dice a round of applause, everybody. Thank you. All right, now listen. <laughs> listen, this is what I'm thinking. What would be more fun and more advertising yeah, for you yeah, yeah. if Moishe got so mad from waiting... <laughs> Did he just leave? <laughs> I know. We canceled him like four times. No, no, no. We're not canceling yeah, 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 yeah. He's a good guy. I, I met him. Guys, hey, guys. Welcome to the housekeeping. I hope you enjoyed that uh, podcast with the legend. The legend. The legend. I'm, just call, I'm not going to say his name. He's just the legend. Um, thank you to our sponsors. Uh, support them to support our show, Manscaped and Postmates. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code BELLY at manscaped.com. For a limited also time. Liquid IV. And Liquid IV. I'm sorry. For a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days to start your free deliveries. Download the app and use the code BELLY. Also, thank you to Liquid IV. The promo code is in the description. Get hydrated, guys. It's the best thing ever. And make sure you check out the Slep King Live. Bobby will be in Schaumburg, Illinois, San Jose, Denver, and Houston. Coming up quick, guys. So check out those dates and get your tickets at bobbyleelive.com. Fun fact, has anyone seen cats recently? Uh, I haven't. Uh, anybody else in this room seen cats recently? Please go on the mic. I have. Tell us uh, what app you're using. It's not an app. It's just a meme on Instagram. Well, if you guys saw cats, they all have names. So what would George's be? Na- George's name be if he was a cat? George is Badanka Macarena. There it is, right. guys. Badanka Macarena. So whenever you see a new post from George on his Instagram, be like, hashtag Badanka Dunk <laughs> Macarena. It's not Badanka Dunk. Listen, open your Badanka ears. Dunk? Badanka Macarena. Oh, it doesn't even fit it. He goes, no. Badanka. Macarena. Badonka. Badonka. George, Macarena. explain yourself. <laughs> What's the origin of Badonka? Uh, it's, you got half of a good ass, you know? And that, you know what? I like that. Let's stick with that. Yours is Django Woomba. Django Woomba. That sounds, well, why does mine sound way more ethnic than George's? <laughs> I love how George guys, Badonka, Macarena. <laughs> mine is Django. <laughs> what is it? Woomba. Woomba. My name is Django Woomba. <laughs> What am I? <laughs> you sound like a animal from Australia that got an animated film made about. Them. Yeah, look, I got that uh, Django Woomba over there. Uh, what is Bobby's? Mm, Bomba. What's his date of birth? Uh, Seventy nine. <laughs> the actual date. We don't know. Nineteen seventy nine. That's bad on us. Uh, it's 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 also wrong online. Oh, is it? Okay. It's well. Bomba something. Well, that makes sense, Bomba. Anyways, um, that was my sister. <laughs> That was random. Go watch Cats if you want to get scared. Uh, guys, email us your questions at helpful at gmail.com. We're looking for interesting, unusual, non-typical problems, and we need your help as much as you want ours. So that's adviceunhelpful at gmail.com. Uh, you can follow George at... George underscore Kimmel. Uh, you can follow Bobby at Bobby Lee Live. Clint. Oh, shoot. Uh, uh, the, 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 if anyone's still listening uh, that doesn't know about Bad Friends Podcast is coming soon. Uh, Who's in that? Uh, um, this guy, uh, Bobby Lee, and uh, oh, Andrew Santino. Wow, guys, red and yellow is a reality now as bad friends. So go follow them on Instagram, bad follow- friends pod, so you can be updated for all the newest uh, postings, such as episode drops. Uh, yeah, take a look at that, and also follow everything Kalani like Clan BK, Tiger Belly at Tiger Belly on Instagram, and the Tiger Belly. At, G- at um Twitter and you can follow me at Gilbits. Everyone have a good night. Danka. Danka. Danka.